Good day, and here we are once again with Let's Play Aliens vs. Predator 2. Electric Boogaloo! Let's do the alien dance! Come on! Alien dance! Ch -ch -ch. Alien dance! Ch -ch -ch. Anyway, that was kind of insane. I don't know why I just started doing the alien dance! Do the alien dance! Do the alien dance! But anyway, let's get serious. Hurry up. We've got some killing to do. Looks like you should hurry up faster, because now both of you are dead. Oh, you could have tried to get in on this too, aren't you? Well, now you face through a wall. Oh, there's a predator we gotta fight soon. I think, yeah, see, there he is. But if we try to jump up up there, we will be killed on some electric wiring. Not electric wiring, but some... They have electrically charged fences, and I'm gonna die, because I... Yeah, I'm dead. I just got burned. Literally! All the alien dances in the world didn't save me. Now, if only I could have a long sword or a battle axe. I may have to do that. I'm now getting inspired after playing this campaign to uh, install the alien race mod, or the Xenomorph race mod, and play through Oblivion. I gotta play through a blue bit. Maybe just I might I could just do some very specific mods and not even touch the main story or even any of the quests in game. I'm tempted to do that. If anybody comments saying, "Yeah, John, do it," I might do like five episodes worth of that because it, it would be kind of cool to see the Xenomorph running around with like a battle axe. <laughs> Bang on the door all you want. Uh, I'm just gonna do a head bite. The dramatic head bite. Oh, well. No dramatic head bite from me. Animus. And I, well, I just missed all of it. Man, I'm dead because of it. One thing that I discovered the other day that was kind of interesting, there is now an AVP mod for Minecraft. Unfortunately, uh, one of the mods, there's actually, I think, multiple mods, Predator mods at least. I remember seeing one, two different uh, configurations of the Predator wrist blades. One from that absolutely awful AVP3. The more I think about AVP3, the matter it makes me. I've, I've been a definite, I, can, I cannot wait to make that video. Just to complain about it, because damn, does that game annoy me to no end. Because I don't even like the configuration of the wrist blades, as I said. I mean, they're held in front of his face. Why would he do that? And the bodies just disappeared into the ground. Return to the hive. Oh, we're going to be getting stuck now and again. Okay, we've already come through just about everywhere. Slaughtered everything. I guess we did need to go down there. Hunt vision. Hunt vision is, does not help that much. Hunt Vision actually looks kind of like Predtech Vision, actually. Oh, wait. There's the obvious... ...vent cover. And the vents are, of course, big enough to hold... ...big enough for a seven-foot-tall... ...Xenomorph. Although, it kind of can go many different ways. The Xenomorph can sometimes be seven feet tall, it can sometimes be eight feet tall. In any event... Well, I just disappeared. I was literally vaporized, I guess. But that being said, the Xenomorph is definitely a very frightening creature. And charge! It doesn't really look like he's eating it, it just looks like, he, looks like he's destroying it. Instead of actually eating. He gain, regains health by eating their souls! Now the concept of a Xenomorph going through the Oblivion Crisis is actually not that far-fetched. Simply because... Damn it. Stop shooting at me. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I died. Simply because uh, in one of the books written by... AC Crispin, they actually gave the Xenomorphs human-like intelligence, almost. Although that was for Alien Resurrection. The book was actually much, much better than the movie.
Because as we all remember, the single creepiest scene in the Alien franchise was that birthing scene. Uh, what was the point of that? What are you gonna do? Oh, I got him somehow! And stabity stab. And now he doesn't even have a body anymore. Chopped into literal chili meat. And... Jump and grab. Oh yeah, that was smart. That was just brilliant. Come on, I'm back up there. Duh, forget it. Let's see. And nothing up here. I'm probably gonna do only like maybe one or two episodes of Alien vs. Predator Extinction, if only because that's an RTS, and RTSs can be very boring Let's Plays at times. Now, if I were able to do that multiplayer, there's literally nothing up here. Let me save just in case something happens. Unless you're doing a RTS multiplayer, it's not all that entertaining to watch, unfortunately. Let's see, the objective is still Return to Hive. That tells me so very much. Oh, where do I go? What do I do? Oh, wait, there it is. Found it. And I found a loading area. This game certainly has to load a lot. Should we notify Rykov? Sure. If you want to lose your bonus and get transferred to perimeter duty. What if we need firepower support, sir? Uh, let's not overreact. I figure we're probably dealing with a single contagion. This isn't the first time one of those bastards has got out of its cage. If the primary operation complex goes down, the pods will be isolated. We're their communication link. Son, the POC isn't being overrun. Besides, Rykov can't reach us for three hours. I thought I already killed him. Well, even if Rykov showed up, and atypically violent. Aren't all of them violent, though? Oh, come on, just let me... Yes! Dramatic head bite! But really, in all these alien campaigns, the xenomorphs have to be atypically violent or atypically good because they're just cannon fodder most of the time. Wow, that was dumb. But let's face it, the xenomorphs are... These are, you're playing as a Xenomorph drone, essentially. So, yeah. And since you're playing as one of those, then they're just used to die. Okay, I could sneak over there, and I guess I will show good sense and tactics. and do this. But it's so much more fun just to yell, roar, and attack. At least I enjoy it more. There's supposed to be something to hit. But I forget what. And... well... That was kinda lame, I will admit. Yes, I know I was killed. I don't care. Come on, I gotta use some skill here. Oh, I did break it. Very good. And charge. Unlock and completely destroyed. Really? But then again, you are the player character, so of course. Come on, give me a head bite. At least he has some sort of. He just keeps turning to face me. Face me. Oh, forget it. Never get the dramatic head bite. Damn, is the animation on those sentry guns pretty bad. I don't remember looking that bad. 
and shoot. Come on. Oh, headbutt. Save again. He's mastered the quick save. That's why he's so good. And I know there's got to be a vent somewhere. There's always a vent somewhere when you're playing as the Xenomorph. And the main reason why it's always a vent because in Aliens they mentioned that they like to move through the vents even though they really shouldn't even be able to fit in said vents because they're so huge but oh well and I'm completely turned around I hope I'm going the right way and I think I am did I, I just went in a big ass circle I like to do that as the xenomorph why because it's a xenomorph cultural trait that's why there we go. This long shaft. Why not? One thing I do find kind of interesting is one of the multiplayer maps in this game. Oh no. I remember this part. Ah, and I just fell. Keep your eyes open. It's close. Where is it? Must be in the ceiling. It's heading from the substation. The ceiling! They're coming out of the goddamn walls! And the ceiling. And charge. Pulse rifles cannot stop me. Smart guns cannot stop me. I am unstoppable! Shotguns can't stop me either. I'm immune to everything. I am the ultimate predator. Actually, you know, as I pl as I think about it, in addition to playing the game, I think I may do three episodes in total, provided there's not this massive clamoring for more of AVP Extinction. Just do one level from each campaign. As I recall, each campaign gets progressively more difficult to where, almost to the point where they're really annoying. Let's see, is there a hole in the ceiling? Yeah, there is. Oh, this leads to nowhere. be really nice if there was a map, but there is not. No, oh, there it is. What's going on? We lost it. It must be heading anyway. Hurst. I cannot think of a joke to go with Hurst right now. Hurst is the worst security guard there ever was, and soon his heart will be bursted by a chest burster. That's kind of a stretch, but hey, I did it. I made that stretch. Why? Because I care. And why? I don't know why they assume this one position. Do they really think that's going to save them? No, it just makes me, it makes it far more easy for me to kill them. And they really did slow the uh, alien speed down, which I guess is both good and bad. I mean, it does ensure that you're not just flying around around the level with the greatest of ease. Uh, can I not? Oh, here we are. I think. It's really hard to tell where you've gone, where you're going, or where, or where you'll go. And smashy smash. I smashed something for some reason. Be nice if it told me why. But oh well. I remember an old alien comic where they introduced some weird culture of some description. Another another alien culture that was not a predator or a xeno, and that and basically this species was able to actually eat a chest not a chest burger, but a face hugger. Acid blood and all. You ca they probably should have explored that some more, but they never did. It's just a one shot. But then again, they were more concerned with crossovers. It's 
see, do I smash that? No. It'd be really nice if it would tell me what I was supposed to do. I mean, that, that, that would be preferable. I mean, I would love to know what my objective is other than run around and try not to die. It's so much more straightforward. See, that's the problem. I know what to do in just about every other in every other campaign, but the alien campaign, because I never liked it. Just tell me what I'm supposed to do already. Return to the hive. Return to the hive. Return to the hive. <laughs> and that's still moving, despite that fan not being on. Lame. How dare they not program that to stop? I call fell. Okay, wherever we're going must be someplace in here. It must be. Why? Because I will it. Okay, there's nothing in here. Is there anything anywhere? That destroyed something. I destroyed that for a reason. Okay, I cannot break through that. I don't think I even really need to. Okay, and we're going to go to the next loading area and then call it an episode, provided we do get to the next loading area, because this game is so bloody obtuse! And it just gets more obtuse as we go on. I mean, this is the very early levels. Okay, so we know we need to go down this way. There's nothing in there. Nothing in here. Can't go in those fa- oh. Pfft. Oh, I, d I really am showing I know how to play this game and video games in general, don't I? Probably should have activated that. I'll take my frustration out on random scientist guy. Why? Because he's there. And what the point of that was, I'm not really sure. Just keep smashing junction boxes. These really do have a lot of single point failures, that's for sure. I mean, you take out one wire and the entire system goes down. Because that makes perfect sense. I can only assume I go down here for whatever reason. Let's see, that door did not open, so... Sometimes I can make the stick. Sometimes. Okay, so I'm back up here. That's destroyed. That's just a, t a toolbox. Ah, there it is. There's the vent. It's always that one vent. And we made it to the next loading area! Huzzah! But we still have not slaughtered everyone in the primary operations complex. But we are definitely going to try to do so in the next episode of Let's Play AVP 2. And so this is General Lots signing off.